It's gonna be the video. It's gonna be like the first. Let me, give you, let me give you a countdown. No, don't give me a countdown. Twenty. <laughs> All right, what's good, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Our first ever, I said it again. What's going on, YouTube? Welcome back to another video. Our first ever podcast here in the crib. Obviously, it's on Discord, but we are eventually going to have these in person. I am with no other than Mr. Ryan. You guys are the manager. And uh, yeah, the, I, I titled him the manager in every single video. <laughs> and pretty much what we're gonna be doing is just having some fun talking about our lives and you know it's 2022 now and i think we got tons and talk to talk about tons to look forward to and uh ryan is you know my ex-manager <laughs> um, say it like i fired you he did he did i didn't we, actually we, we both just... walked out we were like peace and then see you later same day um but I kind of want to just, you know, give you guys a little bit of an overview of what's going to be happening here on the channel. I might be doing a name change to Kyle Smash. It was a childhood name of mine that, like, kind of a gamer tag that, like, you know, I don't even use it anymore. And we're going to be talking about how we kind of disappeared for half of the year, like we were talking <laughs> about a little bit before. And um, I think there's a lot to look forward to. And not to be stressed about this. Like, don't make this a job. And I, I was doing that in the beginning when I first started YouTube. So, if we could just make it as fun as possible, I think it'll be dope. Um, but Ryan, what do you think this is gonna be? What, do, what, what, what are you looking forward to? What do you want to talk about? And you know, how are you feeling? Um, I mean, just life, honestly. Life. I feel like both of us. I mean, we have a good amount like in common. I mean, yeah. you don't power lift anymore, so maybe not in the gym. But I feel like we have a lot in common. We even at when we work together, we clicked a lot. Thank just God. Literally just hanging out for like eight hours a day at that point, doing nothing. So I feel like it'll be easy. I mean, just to talk and just it'll be nice, like kind of as something like Could, to look back on for us, I guess. Like, I don't, you know what I mean? Yeah. It's not like you said, it's not like a job. It's just for fun, just to kind of have like, I guess, documentation of us just talking. Yo, first and of all, what the people fuck might is, like it? What the fuck is that background? What do you mean, bro? Let's it's, talk it's about the... win it's a winter wonderland, dude. It's January first. Yo, can you believe it's 2022 already? I actually, that's ridiculous. I'm not gonna lie. I it, like. I feel like this year, this past year, ended in like April, and then nothing happened. Like a blink. Like I did. I literally did nothing. I know. It's just like I remember leaving PF, and uh, now we're here. How you doing? <laughs> I know. <laughs> I was, what the hell happened? We so, literally we left. We left. We went to the gym a couple times, like maybe for like two weeks after. Then you got and the then new both job. Of us, both of us just yeah. I, I started. I became a delivery driver, so I didn't want to work out because. I shit was I was walking seven miles a day tired. Yes, talk a little Got bit it. talk a little bit about that. Like uh how cause it definitely affected you because I didn't see you for a couple months and then you came back. Yeah, I mean the job itself was easy. <laughs> Anyone that complains about being a delivery driver is just lazy, in my opinion. Cause that shit was light. They put me in like the hardest route every time. The busiest route with tourists in Plymouth. And uh I mean, yeah, it was just easy. But it just got like I really didn't want to do it in the winter, and I found something back at a gym, which I'd rather be in. But, like, that shit was easy. Yeah, because I remember um, we didn't talk for a couple months, and I, I wasn't working at the time, just kind of just chilling, and... Uh, oh, yeah, you were just vibing for a I was vibing bit. for a couple months, and then I, I obviously went back and worked, but I remember we met up at the gym, and dude lost, like, 50 pounds. Yeah, <laughs> I got I got fat at the start of the year, and then got skinny again. So what's your uh, what's your goal weight right now? Because uh, I remember you saying you want to get to two hundred, and now you just don't even go to the gym. I'm just confused. What's All going right, on? Well, we're we're getting back into that. We've, I've been going a little bit the past couple of weeks, kinda not a ton, but I think it's still it might still be two hundred. Yo, I I I just I thought I wasn't recording, and I was about to go crazy. Wait, are you though? I am. I am because I didn't All see right, my mic right. move, but I forgot I have the filters <laughs> on it. All right. Um. But yeah, I, you lost a shit ton of weight. You kind of been up and down for like the past four I years. Went, not even like it was like it was a lot slower. But in the past, like I, when I started working out, I was two hundred pretty much, but fat and short. Mm. No offense. And um, and then I basically just did cardio, lost a shit load of weight, and then I was skinny, and then it took me like a year year and a half to even put on like 10 20 pounds and then i was like all right fuck it we're dirty bulking like this was at the start of the year 
I gained like 20 pounds in two months. Cool. <laughs> tell, tell people what you were eating. Uh, I had every night for dinner, I had, all right, let's start at the, the top. Every morning I had two, two Jimmy Dean breakfast sandwiches. And then I'd bring two to work, ate another two, and then like four Rice Krispie treats during the day. Then I'd get home and eat like a whole bag of Doritos, like a family sized <laughs> bag. Uh, and then for dinner, I'd have three servings of chicken fries. Oh, gross, <laughs> bro. Like, I, I, that's like brings me back to the days when I was huge. Like, I, w- I would just play, sit in this, not in this chair, but sit in this room and just play video games, talking shit to 12 year olds. And literally, <laughs> Those are the days though. They literally just eating chips and McDonald's every day, and I was like, "Yo, I can't lose weight." Yeah, no shit, fat ass. Like <laughs> no shit, because like, you're not doing anything. You didn't that was move. me, honestly. Fifteen hours a day, I was on the damn freaking Xbox, just roasting kids while they're just. That's what everyone did, though. I mean, I I look back on it like you can't be mad at yourself about it. You just got to pick up where you are now and just deal with it. I feel like everyone right now is where they're supposed to be, no matter what. I think it's... No. Bro, if, if if I went to the gym this whole year, you know how fucking big I'd be? Yeah, but, like, it's not, like, it's some shit, you know? It just didn't happen. Yeah, you're not it's wrong. Like, no, definitely. Like, and I think more importantly, like, I don't know, I, I think the New Year stuff, the New Year's resolutions is kind of stupid. I hate it. I've never once, I was, actually, it's funny, I was kind of talking to my mom about this today, because I was like, you know what, I'm actually, like, try to make this year a good year, you know what I mean? And even saying it, I was like, I've never said that in my life. And I hate when people say that. And, like, I've never made a New Year's resolution. Never been a fan of it. But, like, actually, this year, I actually want to try. And it's not even, like, trying. Just, like, you just got to change what you're doing. And from going to just going home after work or... Honestly, you and me have no excuse not to go to the gym. We both work at a gym. (laughs) Whether you work out there or not. I don't work out at the gym I work at. And, I do sometimes. And it's like, you gotta, if it's just the gym, some people have other goals. Like, some people want as much money as possible. Some people, you know, want a house or something like that. And sometimes it's not realistic. And I don't know. I'm trying to buy a house this year. I think you will. I, whether, you, whether you know, you, you move this year or not, I, th- I think you will probably move this oh, year. Oh, 100%. Yes. 100%. And, whether it's house or apartment this year, it's happening. Good. And, uh, I'll be here for a little while. Um, come visit. Um, so, yeah, let us let me talk about a little bit, like, what's going on in my life. Because, like, yeah, yeah. we were talking about, we just didn't talk to anybody for six months and kind of just... Yeah, honestly, you know what? What did you do that whole time? Because, I honestly, I don't even know. I, um... So, I work in the mornings, 4.30 to 9.30. It's very part-time, and... I kind of just chill afterwards, like, I'll, or I'll go to the gym right after work, and then I have, like, time to kind of chill, so I usually never took naps. I started to take naps, feel oh, amazing. No, I am very old, and <laughs> I was talking to my mom and my dad last night. They were up till midnight, and uh, they were having the time of their lives, like, drinking, like, having a good time or whatever, and I'm in my bedroom trying to freaking sleep at 8.30 because I'm just exhausted from working out and pre-workout killing me so yeah that shit's dead anyway so I, I wouldn't i would just go go to bed i'd wake up and I, i'd always be like yo I, I should have like record some videos but it would never happen i i thought you know maybe i'll just record post on my other channel post on this channel i just didn't have the ambition to just post and post and post and not get any views you know i forgot about your other channel yeah i posted on that more on there than uh I posted on here over the past probably year and I was just having more fun doing that stuff. And I do want to get back on that channel because I've gotten a lot more shit in my nerd, nerd fortress. And I, uh, is that, I got a question. Is that, what do you enjoy doing more like that stuff? Like the collection stuff or like the gym stuff slash whatever. I feel like this channel became more of like, a, like my, my life. Yeah. I, I like that. And I, that's kind of I want a name change just to my. I think it's gonna change just to my name, unless it's like it's like something podcast, whatever we name it. And by the way, guys, leave like comments if you want to name the channel for us because we have no clue <laughs> what to name it for. Um, so yeah, I what was I talking about? I was saying your other channel. Yeah, so the other channel is more more 
more fun for me, but I stopped kind of collecting while I wasn't working so much, but I definitely gotten a lot mm. more because of Christmas and stuff like that. And I just, I don't know, making videos sometimes is very, very, very exhausting when you have to put on a fake face sometimes. Yeah. And it gets like, so social media too. Like that, I took a break off social media for about a month and a half, two months, and it felt good. I just did my first post yesterday and I deleted everything else. Everything's gone. I saw that. And uh, I, it's just good fresh start for that. But I don't think I'll be on there as much. But who knows? I'm not saying never and, and not saying no. And who, you know, I don't know. The, the year kind of take off and we'll see what happens with that. But I kind of want to just take some time. I'm going to be starting to get my personal trainer's license in a couple of weeks, I think. So at least I'll have that. It'll take a few months, get it done, and I'll have a job at least at, at this place. And you probably know like half of it, probably more. Yeah, exactly. Like it's... honestly, you could probably just pull up and take the test well, and that's... get like do good enough. You know what I mean? Yeah, I mean, it's not worth risking it though. Like study it and, of and make sure you know it. But like, I've debated just pulling up and taking the test a couple times. <laughs> <laughs> so I um. About New Year's, so let's talk about some, some New Year's stuff. Um, I didn't do anything, but I, will ha I do have a story. And last <laughs> night was uh, probably one of the most crazy nights of my life, believe it or not. So um, it's like 6.50, and I wake up at 3.30 every day during the week, so I'm used to going to bed, or being in bed pretty early. Mm -hmm. So yesterday I ate, in my mom I've been on like a diet for the past three weeks and like feeling good, like eating really clean. And my mom made like these these homemade egg rolls, right? I was like, "Fuck!" Like I, I I need a couple of those, so I t I had two. And my stomach really started hurting. I was like super like bloated, like because I've been eating clean. I was like, "Fuck!" Not, yeah. Huge. So I was like, "All right," and not to be like emotional or like whatever. But she her kidneys are failing, and she has this medication that she takes to like flush out her kidneys. <laughs> Where are you going with this? <laughs> and uh. I um, I asked her, I go, hey, you have like something to like help me? Like I got, I got a lot of water weight. Like I feel like a balloon right now. And she goes, I'm not, I don't want to give this to you, but it says take two, just take one. I was like, sure. I'm like, so she was like, yeah, just take one. I took one. <laughs> two hours go by. I'm laying in bed. It's like 830. They're out in the living room or whatever. And boom, I'm like, yo, I got to take a piss. Like, so I go, I take a piss. I'm like, all right, yo, that's all. That's, that was dope. <laughs> I go back. I'm like, all right, 20 minutes later, I'm falling asleep. I didn't stop pissing until <laughs> two in the morning. I, I, I was up the whole night. That's awful. I, um, I weighed myself in the morning yesterday. I was 196. And by the time I was probably eating and in bed, like at, at eight o'clock last night, I was probably over 200, honestly. Damn. I weighed yeah, it. Uh, I went pissed out ten times. I weighed this morning one eighty nine. No shot, really. One eighty nine, bro. I was thin. I was Pop like a couple more, bro. <laughs> fuck it, like I was like crazy, and I'm like, yo, this is wild. Don't don't take random pills from your parents, kids. This is just not <laughs> what you're supposed to do. But yeah, anyway, that was my New Year's story. I had egg rolls and pissed till two in the morning. Um, what about you, Ryan? What'd you do? That's great. You have I, uh... you have a girlfriend. And yeah, she had work. Ah, uh, she had work. Um, I came home, so I got out of work. I worked yesterday too. I worked until like four thirty. Got home at five o'clock. Played two K until about seven. Uh, had a quick meal and then waited until about. My girlfriend got home at like nine o'clock because the, her restaurant was fucking dead and the place is kind of sad. But was it dead really? Yeah, the place is. It's always dead. Even on New Year's Eve? That's crazy. It's dead every single day. Like, doesn't matter what day it is, it's dead. Is she, um, as long as she's making good money, though, like... Yeah. Making checks, that's all. That's all that matters. Uh, it's alright, yeah. No, it's alright. Like, it's alright. She'll probably find a new place eventually, but... Closer, hopefully. Yeah, it's kind of far. But yeah, so then... Uh, she, every time she leaves work, I cook her dinner. So, made her dinner for when she got home. We ate dinner. And we laid in bed. <laughs> and we were up at midnight, though. We were watching... Actually, we watched we watched um the first Venom. W. Yeah, good movie. Well, we're gonna watch the other ones. But... Yeah, have fun. Worst movie I've ever seen. You're lying, really? Venom Two is the worst movie I've ever seen. 
Really? I really liked the first one. It, it looked sick. Good. And then you're like, damn. All but, right. Well, I'm still yo, probably going to watch it. Please. No spoilers in the comments if anyone's watching this. Please watch the Spider-Man movies. I'm probably this not going to watch them. Please do it. Because I'll be honest with crazy. you. I already know everything that happens. I, I mean, if you're, if you're not living under a rock, I mean, everyone, <laughs> everyone knows. If you've been on the internet since the day it came out, you know, like, the good parts. I deleted everything for that movie. We saw it opening I, night. And I... <laughs> I don't care about like movies being spoiled because all right, for example, like I've never seen Venom, right? And last night we're watching it and like everything that happened, I knew you if you watch enough movies, you know what's gonna happen. Yeah. But that's why those movies are trash. Well, it's every movie's like that. Like you know the, the how it like you can guess what's not obviously not exactly what's gonna happen, but like I'm watching it happen. I get this movie's old, right? I, I'll, I'm going to spoil it a little bit. If you haven't yeah. seen Venom, it's not 2009 anymore. So go yeah. and get outside. <laughs> Whenever it came out, I think it was like 2015. But, something like, that. like the the scientist lady helps the dude get in, right? That becomes like Venom, and then she's like at, being asked by the other guy to tell the truth. Like obviously the dude's going to have her get eaten by one of the fucking things. Like everyone knows it's going <laughs> to happen. If you didn't know that was going to happen, you're an idiot. Like it's so I don't know. I just feel like it's really easy. Like movies in general but all right talking about that do, have you watched do you have netflix do you use netflix yeah, yeah have you watched the new uh it's called like don't look up with like leonardo dicaprio is that ariana grande's thing yeah she's in it yeah i heard about it have you watched that one i haven't watched it i'm not gonna spoil it it is really good but let's just say like you know how i was saying you always know what's gonna happen this movie yeah you don't know what the fuck's gonna happen the whole time really yeah that's why i kind of liked it but i also kind of hated it because like you like kind of like yeah I like yeah like I was like oh shit I didn't expect that that's kind of annoying but that's a good movie watch that if you have time I definitely will I've been, I'm been watching uh Daredevil because um I started that too did you really bit, but well it's I started very... it after Venom and I like wasn't paying attention for a while so I just turned it off because I didn't know what was going on <laughs> it the first like two episodes are pretty slow and then you're like hooked like I'm on just started the third season last night so like. I've been breezing through it. Um, I just, I don't know. Marvel's Marvel does a great job with with show shows. I think for the most part, this last one, Hawkeye, was pretty trash. I'm not gonna cap, but um, I uh, I struggle with shows because I fall asleep with it on and I don't remember where I'm at, and then I just give up. Yo, do you sleep with the TV on? Yeah, I have to. I need no something way. on. No way. If the room's pitch black, I'm not falling asleep. I I'll used to in, be like I will that. lay in bed till my alarm goes off. In high school, I would just. I wouldn't go to sleep without the TV. I needed something. But now, if anyone even, like, coughs or, like, if anyone even breathes and I can hear it, I can't go to sleep. It's bad. Jeez. It, I'm a heavy sleeper. I'm not, unfortunately. Like, heavy. It's bad. Um, so, what has been your, uh, your training, like? <laughs> Non-existent. No, um, all right, well, uh, I think I'm switching it up again, like, to start fresh i don't like that with the whole new year thing but i do kind of want to like start fresh but i do powerlifting splits usually so i have typically i have a squat day that with quads bench day with like chest well i try to do chest and shoulders and then obviously deadlift day i like to do back on my deadlift day just because i don't know it feels better i feel like i don't like getting like hamstring pumps to be honest but, so that's why I like to do back. It just feels weird. Like walk. If you get a hamstring pump and you don't get a quad pump, you that's like weird. Your, the back of your body feels massive, like and not in a good way. So I just don't like doing it. But I mean, going. I think I'm gonna. I started to try and take a break from you know the heavy singles. Thank God. So we're gonna. I think for probably the first two months of the year, take it easy, more hypertrophy training, and then see where we can go from there but that's part, that's the next step i, I kind of want to do like a different split i don't know if you ever seen like the chest and back split i heard that's pretty good but a lot of people don't do it for a long time yeah so that's why i want to do it for like a month i think because i feel like a month isn't that long and if i stick to it for a month and i like it i'll do it for another month but if i get kind of bored of it i'll just go back to like my normal splits but we'll see i also might like I'm not going to not power lift, but right. I might do like um, kind of like a chest and back type split, like with the splits that people do that way. But like take some stuff out and add powerlifting in because that is more of like a 
bodybuilding split where they don't really even bend. Like a lot of bodybuilders don't even bench. You know what I mean? I know. So it's kind of like I that's where I enjoy in the gym is powerlifting. Like I back in before we stopped going in June or whatever, May, June, whatever, yeah. I literally was going to the gym. I would hit my bench sets and go home. I, the next day, I would go to the gym, hit my deadlift sets, and go home. I didn't do anything else. I didn't care to do anything else. I'd, <laughs> I'd go home and eat chicken fries. Like I didn't give a shit. I was Gross. like, I, dude, I hate accessory work. Pisses me off. Like it's so boring to me. I don't know why. I um, I've been, I just switched up everything the past like two weeks, three weeks. I um, so ever since I saw saw Spider Man, uh, I'm, I'm trying Spider Man. I'm, I'm trying. I'm trying to get like him. So. I've been cutting down my calories. I'm probably having like 1,900, 2,000 right now, which is good. And I'm getting like 200 grams of protein almost. And, Damn, that's uh, actually really good. And uh, I've been dead after every single workout for like the past two weeks. And it feels great. So Yeah, but you might also not be eating enough. Oh, I'm eating fine. I'm feeling fine. So? 100%. 100%. You think 1,900 is enough? I promise you, I feel great. Like I don't, uh, bro, I, after that na- after that hour nap, <laughs> I'm fine. Your breakfast, my, I, I'm uh, seven a.m. I'm past that point. <laughs> I'm not even awake yet. It's very tempting, like, I'll, but instead, like, if I'm hungry and I'm really hungry, I'll have like a banana or an apple or That's like good. something. Like, I'm not eating shit anymore. As long as you're not like starving yourself, like going to bed starving. You know what I mean? I feel that great. Shit, people, people do that. It's not. It's not good for you. Your yeah. body. Nope. Your body works through your calories while you're sleeping as well, and people don't like they think they can't eat. But before like four hours before going to bed like you're just starving yourself and you're not going to see any progress if you do that yep and you you kind of want you want to be full when, when you go to sleep but it's good to not eat at like don't eat and go to bed yeah, yeah get, get, move around a little bit you got to do something whether you're like awake even if you just kind of like lay out on the ground and breathe bro like I, do. I eat and go to bed though i used to do that and then i felt like shit in the morning your face is all puffy you like yeah. you feel like crap and I've been eating like at five o'clock and then going to bed, be sleeping by like eight. But I, oh, I, I, I you eat. go to bed like when I get home from work. Yeah, it's crazy. Like, <laughs> but then like I'm up at like three thirty and ready That's to true. go and chilling. I'm feeling good. I've been waking up, feeling energized, making sure I'm getting my eight hours of sleep. I'm feeling amazing. And it's kind of weird. And it's, it's hard to stay away from bodybuilding training because I actually do like it a lot. Especially like when you're when you're doing yeah. chest, when you have a chest pump, it feels great. But when like not when you have a small chest, <laughs> <laughs> when you're going. So here's my here's what I've been doing. I've been doing like a split where I'll run for two and a half minutes and it's five rounds. You do um, clean and presses. You do burpees. You do hang leg raises, bench press. <laughs> but you're not doing like you're not doing like a bench press and then going to incline dumbbell and then going yeah. to triceps. It pretty much hit, hitting everything, and my warm ups are always three sets of pull ups, three sets of dips, three sets of uh, push ups. And so, are you like kind of hitting full body every day? That's what I did a while back. It feels That's awesome. It. My legs, not so much. I feel like I should do more quad extensions and like just like, but I've been running like a shit ton. And yeah, that's not gonna really grow muscle though. Right, and I think that's why I need to do it. But the second I hit legs, I know I'm gonna be dying. And I've been stretching. True. I've make, been making sure I've been stretching more than ever because I need it honestly. And I want to be more flexible. Like as a bodybuilder, if you're like going to itch your back, you can't raise your shoulders. Yeah, you bad shoulders. And my knee is. I got discharged from PT. Does it feel? Is, how does it feel though? Ninety percent better. I think every now and again it'll. I'd give it like another month. Yeah, I've act- I have to actually do some like leg training and like that was what when I first started doing legs, it hurt that couple days when we when we went to the gym. Like and- pain or like like knee pain or like like discom- I- discomfort. Yeah, you know what I mean. Was it like oh my god, this hurts, or was it just like I feel it? It never hurts when I'm working out. It's always when I get home and laying in bed and it's stiff. So. The more I can like stretch it once out. you rest, kind yeah. of thing. Yeah, once yeah. it's warmed up, I'm perfectly fine. Like nothing ever happens. So it's kind of just making sure I warm up and stuff, and I can finally like bend down and do shit like that again, which is great. That's good. Um, you have any other things you want to talk about? All right, a little bit. I got all right. I because I have some like ideas, but I want to know for you for like 
I know you said you might take a break from like social media for a little bit or YouTube or whatever, but obviously since we're doing this, you're going to at least post weekly. So like, or hopefully weekly, we're going to do our best guys. All right. Not everything we, works out all the time. Yeah. I think we can. Like I'm pretty much like free on Saturdays, which is when we're probably going to record it. Yeah. So, but um, other than like this, the podcast, what, what are your like plans? Obviously, like you said, you wanted to kind of like rebrand, but if you rebrand, like, what are you going to post? Like what kind of content? um stuff like like what do you kind of have planned i guess for social media or youtube so for my instagram like for instagram i'm looking at it more i'm not i don't think i'll be posting any fitness thing on there i might do a little Mm -hmm. mirror selfie as i get more shredded you know what i'm saying but uh i i won't be doing like workout videos on there um just because it's very oversaturated right now and i don't know i just saw who, who I really am to be honest it's not what i want to be and i would i'm more like i don't know i like talking to people and kind of like i don't know getting motivation out there if you need it and that's what i kind of want to keep my instagram for for youtube um maybe do so my plan is to do four pot three to four podcasts a month and i want to eventually have guests come on like you said you can bring maddie on if you wanted to you can bring it we could bring i can get somebody to come on oh we have, we probably have so many people we can get on i know and hopefully none of them are assholes so <laughs> uh, and then i think for like content wise besides podcasts it'll probably be more of i i you know so it's actually what i wanted to do i was thinking about this the other day once i like really trim down like, into the summer because i actually might be having a, a surgery uh soon i don't really want to talk too much about it but um might be having a surgery soon not sure yet so after i get done with that um i'll be trying to post like you know how they you see those videos where it's like yo i ate like the rock for a day yeah 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 i want to do do stuff like that too i think it'd be fun as hell and i think it'd be dope because most of the time eat clean and you'd feel fine Uh, um if you're only doing it for a day it's not going to affect you you and you can also do like eat and train yeah, so can you it. can eat like him and do his workout and then it's like just to get you like longer video you know what i mean and yeah. i think that'd be fun because then you could also say you do that like every celebrity or whatever in even another influencer like a big influencer you like they post like their workout routine to get in shape for like Movies. like spider-man that's what i've been watching a and lot of that's what i'm saying so you could like you and then doing that you might find things you enjoy doing and then work them into your plan in the end which would be pretty cool yeah, I think it would be dope. I, I was talking to someone at the gym the other day who I talked to probably years ago, and I saw them, and they said that they've been doing boxing. And I, I, I think it would be good workouts. I don't think I I'd ever get into boxing. I, I don't think I'd ever fight anybody. Rest I in want pe- to. Not rest in peace, Daniel, but you know what I mean. <laughs> Daniel, Daniel got fucked up. Um, I, I, w- I would love to, but I don't want brain damage. So, like, it's not yeah. hard part. Yo, speaking of boxing, Jake Paul. Yeah, I don't, I don't really follow it. But, like, I think... You think rigged or not? No. I don't think it's rigged. I think all he did was drop his hand. Like, if whatever the dude's name is didn't kept his hand up, it's... I mean, he still would have lost. I think think Jake Paul has, like, now at this point proven himself like he can fight. Yeah. But I want him to fight like an actual boxer. I know people are saying that, but you got to realize that these are fighters, and if he's a beginner boxer, most people aren't going to... If he's a beginner boxer, he's not going to get top tier boxers, but he's just like, I think he just signed, or not signed, but they're negotiating contract between some guys like 13 and 0. So I know Tommy Fury backed like that, out, but I would like to see something like that. Like, I'm not saying he's like fighting chumps like off the street. Like, he is, like you said, he's fighting actual fighters. Yeah. Which is, that's why I think he's, I think now everyone needs to just say, okay, he, he can do this. But I would like to see him actually make like a run at some, like more bo- like people that are actual boxers and know more about boxing technique and shit. Yeah. I think I think that's he's done a great job branding himself. Him and Six Nine are a lot of like they create drama and Oh, that's how that's, they, how, you, oh, that's how you make it nowadays. Yeah, I guess I I don't really get that. Yo, speaking of like influencers we talked about a few minutes ago, Bradley Martin, the in the DMs. <laughs> <laughs> he DM me again, didn't I tell you? No. Oh, uh, yeah, Bradley Martin. I mean, obviously, it's probably just some PR guy. If we're being honest, it's probably not actually him. I bet you it's him. 
I, I bet it is. Yeah, I feel like he's the type of guy to be on there a lot. I don't think but, who, huh, he's not going to pull his, it up. His Instagram so, account to somebody. So, I mean, pretty much every influencer has someone running their accounts if they're big enough. Really? But I, I guess quick backstory for people watching. I ordered deadlifts. So I still don't have them, by the way. They're still in California. Like, California's, like, in the mud, <laughs> I guess, because they're just waiting to be shipped. Like, I have a tracking number and everything. They just haven't moved from California. But I ordered deadlifts. I ordered a bunch of stuff on Black Friday, and, and one thing was deadlift slippers. They didn't come in the order. So I, it was right before their, another drop that they were going to do. So I swiped up on Brad's store and said, Brad, help. My deadlift slippers didn't come with a little frowny face. <laughs> and then I was like, I bet you probably won't see this, but you're the go anyways. He liked that message, told me to, like, call Raw Gear. And then, so that was, like, the first one. And then he posted another story saying he was deadlifting like every day, like trying to fry his CNS. And I, I just replied to it. I was like, do you think this will actually like help your max or are you just doing it like as an idiot, basically? And he goes, I don't think it'll actually help. <laughs> so like he actually replied twice, which is kind of cool. That's dope. Um, I feel like I have really weird, like, I guess not. I don't want to say luck, but like anytime I've, I've tagged like BPN, huge company, I've tagged them in like a story. They've like liked my story or sent a reaction to my story uh jacked factory which i'm actually wearing their sweatshirt right now i tagged them they like re replied to it like liked it or whatever it's really random so i don't know what's going on but we'll see that's that's pretty cool i um i've been watching a lot of him on youtube bradley martin and uh i like brad steve will do it's hilarious and i think the nelk boys are going to be like the rulers i don't think they'll be the rulers of youtube but i think they're gonna make their own thing because i know they have their their member service thing yeah and i think they're gonna get booted from youtube at some point for something because you know they you already did for a little bit didn't yeah, they? <laughs> yeah i'm sure youtube will crack down on it on it as the years go on but i think they're gonna I mean they took the dislike button out ain't that crazy <laughs> make sure you guys I mean, dislike this video and just like this video yeah because engagement like, facts leave a comment for the algorithm thank you i don't know i think at, if it, and how I'm looking at this podcast is like, yo, if it works out, it works out. I'm going to do it for fun. It takes an hour and a half out yeah. of our day. And it's chill. Like, we're not. We're, we're not... literally just vibing. It's yeah. like we're just hanging out for an hour. <laughs> and yeah. And I think we can talk about a lot of things that are different. Is If we have another guest at some point, too, I think that'll be dope. Because mm -hmm. who do you think? Who, who could we get? I, I know we can get Maddie, probably, if she ever wanted to. We could let her get. Charlie, Ben. True. Like, I, you think everyone. He's got a new girl. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah, good for him. I know he's been kind of laying low for a while, so good for him. Um, laying low. Ben, same girl? Probably. I don't, couldn't tell. I, see, the thing is, though, like, the whole time I was, wasn't talking, like, we weren't talking, I was literally not them talking. either. Yeah, I know. So I'm the same way. I mean, I'm. That's crazy. Like, so here's, here's a little backstory. So I started, when we were working at PF, I started, what, November 2019? Something like that. And you were assistant, man. man, assistant manager. And that long ago? Yeah, bro. And then uh, we, the pandemic happened in March of 2020. And we didn't come back until July. You didn't come back for a couple of weeks. Yeah, though. I didn't come back until July or August. No, maybe it's September. We, no, you came back late August. You came back like a month after. And we opened July, right after July 4th. July yes, 6th. July 6th, yeah, July yeah. 5th or 6th or whatever we opened. Yep, and I came what back I a couple weeks, I don't know. but um, You came back and I was the manager. <laughs> yeah, so Ryan got promoted, I got a little bump in pay to work on Sundays. Yep. <laughs> Fuck that. Um, and it was closing shift, which sucked even more. Yeah, that was tough. That yeah. shift was just not fun. No, not at all. And so we vibe, like we were vibing for a good year, like almost, almost a good year. And so, like new, the new year turned around. It's like December. Are you saying after that? Yeah, I'm saying December 2020. It was like all right, and then now this talks about the ownership changing, and we're like, okay, yeah, met the people, nice as fuck. Like, okay, no, 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 no. Your timeline's way off. They owned us before we closed for COVID. They bought us oh, February, yeah, we closed March. Yeah, they bought us in February of 2020. They bought us. That doesn't sound, that sounds awful. Oh, it was like slavery, let me tell you. <laughs> okay, <laughs> don't, don't be saying that. I, uh, you gotta cut that, we're gonna get, you I, know what I mean? I, uh, 
I think. So anyway, moral of the story is they changed ownership and this new guy came in named Rich. And moral of the story is fuck you. Yeah, Rich is a um, uh, nice guy, real nice, great guy. Papaginos. Yeah, he was he, he was a manager <laughs> of Papaginos, and I don't know. Anyway, yeah. he was like kind of first. At first, I was like, "All right, not bad." Like he didn't say much. He was uh, he was like a cool dad at first. Yeah, and then what? August, September. So that no, so he came in. He came in in December. Ah, yeah, it was the new year. Then. Yes, so okay. he came. So he came in December twenty twenty. He was all right. I'd say until like February. Like January was cool. We were all right, and then in February, all of a sudden, it just everything he said made me want. I wanted to punch him in the face. And he's like a, he was like a, think of any of the top office people ever. And just like, you know how they have that snooty attitude sometimes? And like, they just know they're better than you, which they obviously not are not. Look at his fucking nose. Like he, <laughs> like, all right, I guess the, the best way I would put it is he, he acted like he owned the place when he like literally didn't. Yeah. You know what I mean? If he was an owner, maybe I guess I'd probably like expect that. So we, he, we have to kind of explain wasn't. what he did. So we were worked at the gym and we were at the desk ryan was the manager he handles paperwork in the morning and i would kind of just stand there check people in if they had problems they'd let me know blah blah, blah. there was always another girl there and she would kind of do her own thing sometimes she'd chill there sometimes she'd go do like a bathroom check it was called or it was supposed to be cleaning i got in at five in the morning all my cleaning was done by like six o'clock mm-hmm. most of the time i mean every now and again it would be like a little dusty but a lot better when he, it was a lot better when he came in, not going to lie, like, the gym got very clean when he came in, and you would clean in, like, I don't know, it wasn't even him, though, like, it was, it was us, because we would just kind of, like, go, yeah, uh, chill at the desk all day, and it was kind of, he was, like, authority, but even doing that, that was fine, like, whatever, if you're there, and you tell us to clean, whatever, then, it just got worse and worse, he was, like, what, what do you do to you, because he, like, used to take it to the side and shit, he would just tell me that the place was dirty, when it wasn't. When we spent eight, I would literally, I'll, I would come in, do paperwork, and just clean until someone needed to talk to me. Because I was like, I don't, I'm not dealing with this. Like, and and it would, he would oh, come, yeah. he would come in and stop me from cleaning and pull me aside to tell me the place is dirty. When while he's cleaning. <laughs> while I'm cleaning. And it, and it wasn't even dirty. Like, and then members would, it, the best was when members, I love, I, I feel like the best part was even the members hated him. Yeah, because they would come anytime he would be walking around with me. They would they would come up and say, this place is so clean, like all the time. And I would I literally look at him and be like, I promise you, I don't tell these people to say this because it was like three people every time he was in there would do it. And I'd be like, do not realize that it's clean off of this. I don't get it. Yeah. And I remember when there was there's this times and I don't really I was in the electrical field. You were in the construction field before we even got there. And. I, I was like, I dealt with a lot of assholes and kind of put up with it because I was kind of really young and I was kind of over it. At first I was like, all right, this is fucking stupid. And then mm-hmm. it just, it was like the, the jabs, like, yo, go clean. Or it's like the way you just tell you to go, go clean, go clean, yeah. go clean. How about you go fuck yourself. <laughs> yeah. It was like, listen, dude, I'll show you what I cleaned. I'll show you everything. But it was like, if you're not out there every second when there's, there's not one person at the, like, a customer at the desk, you had to be out there cleaning everything. And that was a time when masks were like rampant. Everyone was wearing a mask. Mm -hmm. And May comes around. It's like May 20 something. I remember the day. And he comes in and we get or we get an email saying like that because the vaccines rolled out and it was like Wait, I don't even remember this. It was like yo, um not because we had that paper and he was like because we were going to have to wear masks. And I was like over the mask. I was like, yo, if, if, if vaccines are out, I'm taking my mask off. Like, yeah. And he, everyone was like, no, I don't think he's going to do that. We're still have to wear masks. That was like, pissed me off. I was like, yo, this is, this is stupid. And then it was kind of like him and then dealing with it. Anyways, before that, a week before you were on vacation. Yeah. I went to, I went to Florida for a week. Uh, <laughs> it was a, very relaxing, great time. And then uh, the day I got back. So I'm cleaning, right? And I'm like right here and Ryan has to walk in past me and he looks at me as his hood on and and he just gives me like he's like, 
like not happy to be back. And then I, I went was, there. It was awful. And then me and him were like, this is this our last day? And we kind of debated it for about 20 mm-hmm. minutes to half an hour. And then we were like, yeah, see ya. I left and never came back. It right. was literally, it was, so, what you? What time did you leave at? The, two? No. you. Were, I left at noon that day. Did I let you leave? Yeah. <laughs> yep. Okay, so I got, I got in at, what, like, nine. And I think we stood at the desk for those three hours. Just saying, we we're not coming back. <laughs> like we're not. I'm I'm not coming back. Like, it's like I, yeah. And then you left, and then I forget who. I think Charlie came in, and I stood <laughs> at the desk until five o'clock. I said I'm not coming back. You get sent him a text saying it was my last day. It was your so, last day. It was so I sent him a text. It was I said I'm done. I said Kyle's done. I said. Blank, 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 blank. All gave me their notice. <laughs> there was like seven people that left. Yeah, I think there was about. I think there was like three people staying, three or four. And then within the within the month, 10. they were gone. After that, uh, I think pretty much yeah. Because now there's only two people that we know at work there now. That's crazy. It's yeah, it. there's only and it's only it's it's seven eight months later. It's not even like it's a full whole new staff that quick. And we, yeah, yo, so we everyone clicked. And... Everyone clicked there. Everyone was wicked chill with each other. You're welcome. I hired everyone. Who'd you hire? I hi- besides you and don't, Lindsay. Don't give don't give names. Besides, that. sorry, yeah. you and you and blank. I'm trying I to think, hired, but yeah, I hired everyone else besides you, me, obviously, and uh, the person who worked days with us. I'll say put it that way. I hired literally everyone else. Yeah. True. That was, and then and we went 24 5 before. Yeah. That's, so anyway, yeah, that's this whole different story. I don't, get off the fucking topic. This is just, yeah. this is stupid. And now you're working at a new gym that is expensive. I mean, it's, it's, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you put it like that, I guess. When you go so. 10 it's bucks really a not, month. It, it's, it's really not, though. Like, if you compare it to other gyms that do uh, small group training, it's pretty much the cheapest, actually. <laughs> so it's all, it's all classes. Yeah, and and it's and what I like about it is like most I feel like most I guess group places you go it's like thirty minutes of a shit ass workout and then it's like thirty minutes of shit ass cardio yeah. with someone that doesn't care. Whereas here it's an hour of lifting. You know, it's strength training the entire hour. That's cool. You got any so more questions for me? Any more topics? Um, I think we did. I think this was not bad for the first one. I think it was pretty good for the first one. I think but so. But definitely, definitely anyone, if you have an idea for the name, I guess the point, the point of this, like we said before, is just kind of just to talk. Like, it's really about life. As we go on, basically, like, this first one was kind of just talk about the past year. And as we go on, we'll pretty much talk about, like, the week we had because we'll obviously be caught up on everything. So kind of just life, the gym, whatever. Like I said, we have a lot in common. So I feel like we do a lot of similar things. Work. Besides eat, girlfriend, you know. And yeah. go to the gym. That one Kyle is still struggling with. Uh, we'll get maybe this maybe this is his year. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying hey, maybe that's the might, resolution. Man, it might be that year, you know what I mean? I mean, this girl was eyeing me in the gym today. Yeah, she go to the other stretching mat or Yo, that was so all right, before we go, well, let's let's say that quick so, story. So this is what, what a month ago probably now? And not no, maybe not. No, not even. It was in December. So Going to this like stretching room. Uh, this was after our workout. We were both working out together, and I, I went and laid down. So there's two mats side by side. So side by side, and I'm over here. He's and, in like the corner, and I'm just doing abs. And I'm talking to Ryan. Ryan's just kind of chilling there. And this girl walks in. She <laughs> she looks at me, <laughs> and just no fucking... no no. So she looked at me. She looked she looked at me while I was stretching, and then. Like looks at the mat, goes to literally goes to put her stuff down at the mat. Looks at Kyle and just dips into the like side room, like the more private room, to not be near him. And it was I, we both just started dying laughing the second it happened. I was like, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I, like, I'm doing, I know, I'm but it was that. just it was just funny that it happened to you. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, you know, I got the luck of a fucking. I I got the best luck. Let me tell you. Um, shit was so funny. But I think man, maybe maybe this year, like, uh, if, if we're talking about like resolution resolutions. Get my, I'll start talking to more people. And I think that's like the, I was watching the, the goat, Dan Bazarian, who's saying like, yo, you just, gotta uh, ta- you just gotta talk to every hot girl you see. Have a conversation. See, the, can I give a, can I get my advice? You just gotta let it happen. 
Listen, you, you can't you're force different, nothing, bro. I'm not though. I'm not. I'm not even lying. If you force it, it won't work out. No, I'm not trust me. It it just has to ha like it has to organically happen, and don't expect it. Like and trust me, don't don't try and meet someone in the gym, bro. I know you said always. Oh, that me shit's that. embarrassing. <laughs> it's so embarrassing. Like you don't want that. Yeah. Because like, then you gotta then then say it doesn't work out. You're really gonna structure your workout routine around that. You're not gonna want to see them. True. Like you know what I mean. Just it's gotta just happen naturally. You can't like, like don't go out of your way to look for it. You know what I mean. You can go out of your way to talk to someone. Yeah, do that. But if while you're talking to them, it's not like it ain't that. It ain't the one. What's the point? You know what I mean. Maybe That's how I've always looked at it. We gotta um, next next podcast. I think we'll have a lot more topics, and we'll kind of we'll kind of like gauge what the topics are gonna kind of be about. Like this one, obviously, was just about us talking life, and we'll see like if we bring up more topics and hobbies and stuff like that we'll kind of just make each one kind of a topic but i want to keep them around 45 to an hour long yeah it's a good time i think it's good we just reached 45 so um thank you guys so much for watching this one um the first one ever like i said i'm be doing four of these three to four of these per month and maybe some videos in between one a week yeah one a week and we'll get 52 this year 100 percent. yeah Jeez, that's a lot of episodes <laughs> Uh, what do you want the title of this be? Should I do it about the pill and I couldn't stop pissing until 2 a.m.? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, honestly, yeah, clickbait it. <laughs> Yo, um, but uh, thank you guys for watching. Uh, Ryan, thank you for being the co host today. Of course. And, and maybe if by the next week, maybe we'll get someone to come on here. Do you want to do guests next time or do you want to just do another talking? Uh, we'll see. We'll see. I think just play it by ear. Like, if we. We'll see how this video Cause, does. Because the thing is, I feel like. Yeah, exactly. We'll see how this does. And also. I feel like if we have a guest, it'll it'll be more centered around them. Like that's usually yeah. how it works. Mm -hmm. So if we if we just want to talk about what like you know what I mean, then yeah, don't yeah. even bother bringing someone on, so we're not like wasting their time. Yeah, yeah. But like if we if we if there's someone we want to talk to and like that we even someone we haven't talked to in a while, see if they want to do it. Anything works. Like it doesn't. We we need one every week. It doesn't matter. Yeah, for sure. I think it's it'll be easy because like you said, it's just hanging out. But um, thank you guys for watching. I'm gonna go. You know. Drink a protein shake and hopefully get sponsored. Um, but hopefully you guys. I'm getting it sponsored this, this year. Hold that me to it. Dope goal. I think we'll talk about goals next time too. Um, I'm done. But thank you guys for watching. Leave a like and subscribe or dislike and subscribe. Unsubscribe. Or <laughs> dislike. <laughs> dislike the Leave video. Leave a comment. Leave a comment for the algorithm, please. Yeah, might as well just say hi or fuck you. Either one. And also, um, names. Uh, <laughs> podcast names. Yeah, I think um we'll think it over and, and mm -hmm. we'll see what happens, but. What that breaking news says on the screen, guys, that should be changed by the next next week. <laughs> Leave it on there. Breaking news and have the title really small print underneath. Yeah. All right. Thank you guys for watching. I'll talk to you soon. Peace. Peace out.